Paul Smith Trucker here in Big Maroon. Uh, today it is Monday, July 6, 2020. Local time of 5.40 p.m. Located in Winchester, Virginia. At our pickup. 91 degrees and looks like it wants to rain. So let's hurry up and... We better sign the door one, which is right behind us. This is the process of uh, the checkup. Is uh, you park it like this, and once they're ready to load you, you be lined up. The place is called Winchester Cold Storage. This is our load that's taking us home, Salisbury, North Carolina, Aldi's. <laughs> I don't know, these people are, these people suck. I mean, I got in this morning about 10 and probably not till 1 p.m. So I try to pick it up early and they tell me that it's not gonna be ready till like one and it's already almost six o'clock and this load is due today at 11. So we're gonna have to hustle this. I don't know what's gonna happen to me. Open up real quickly before it starts pouring down. And yeah, they just now docking me at uh, 540 something. Warming was at one. starting to pour. Starting to rain. And it sucks too because the process to check in is a little like a storage building place and you stand outside to check in and stuff. <laughs> I 
I don't know what this place is. It's got apples on the sign, so it's got to do something with apples. Not the product, the technology, but the fruit. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Uh, thank y'all for watching, and uh, we'll see y'all later, okay? See y'all when we get on the road, and yeah, we'll be, not be on the heck cam, so... See y'all later. Stay safe. What's going on, everybody? Boss my truck here in Big Maroon. Today it is uh, Monday, July 6, 2020. Located in uh, Winchester, Virginia at the Shipper. It's called Winchester Cold Storage. It's actually HP Hood. This is, a, I guess it's their other location. Their downtown location. Yeah, this is downtown Winchester. At least one side of it, I guess. But we are loaded. We're on our way to uh, Aldi's in Salisbury, North Carolina. For our delivery and homebound. Uh, temperature 75 degrees. It, it did pour down pretty good uh, after we got docked and everything. It came down pretty good. Super wipers. Forgot to mention about those. <laughs> Anyways. Let's hit the road. Local time is 7.23 p.m. Leaving Winchester. I got me a chance to order food. Yeah. I tried out that uh, DoorDash thing. First time. Ordered me some uh, Chick-fil-A. First time using that. Ooh. Yeah, when you pick up here, this is the way you park. You pull in and that way you're lined up with the door. I pulled up so I can do my thing here, start my clock, and submit my information. I can look to the right here before we pull out. Wait on that light too. <laughs> um, so we're loaded here out of, I guess it's called HV Hood or Winchester Cold Storage, Winchester, Virginia, on the way to Aldi's and De uh, De <laughs> Salisbury, North Carolina. We're about, since 320 miles, let's go. Let's roll, everybody. I'm doing good. It's just... I don't get why they took forever like that, but, well... he did. They did apologize to me, uh, the shipper here. They said that they were down four people, and... And it's a Monday after a holiday, and all that, and I guess I'll let them pass. As long as it doesn't affect me to receive it for the receiver there. All these is usually pretty good if you're late. They don't care. <laughs> We're 
We're going to go through uh, 81 south and cut in down to uh, 581 and take that on down to Salisbury. I think that's Roanoke area. Martinsville, I believe, uh, Rocky Mount. Yeah, so I got me some Chick-fil-A. Had to because I don't want to stop and then make my way down. I want to pick this up and start heading down, you know. That's another one right over there. Another cold storage place to the right there. We got one everywhere. Yes, yeah, so I tried that DoorDash for the first time. Because like I said, you know, I'm, I'm not going to stop, so I'm going to get going straight through. So I might as well order some food, and that way I don't have to stop. That must be their dry facility, because that U.S. Express coming out of there, and then there's J.B. Hunt over there. I don't know if there's a dry place down there. Yes. Past there. Okay. Only loaded about 34,000 three something of that almond silk milk. So, huh. It's basically a load we know. Same stuff we pick up for uh, over there at White Waves. HP Hood and then I guess they do the same product, I guess. Just comes out of a different place. <laughs> Yeah, when we used to pick up at uh, the one right over here, that's what we pick up and some type of yogurt stuff too. But we used to take that to Walmart in uh, Toma. Yeah, so I thought about doing the door dash. I said, you know, might as well. Because <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to be at. And I'm going to be driving this straight through, though. So I'm going to turn right up there. Yeah, I know where I'm going. I know where I'm at. I think. <laughs> no, no, I just came out of there. I don't know for the work where I live though. I live in the country and some stuff like that is a little bit picky about sending people all the way out there where I'm at. I don't mind driving out. It gets me out of the house. So. Welcome to Winchester. Yeah, they said that there were down four people and after a holiday and stuff, so they got behind and I guess that's fine. I'll let it go then. Yeah, I got there this morning about 10 something. Completed my break and then the apartment was at 1 p.m. So they told me initially that the product wasn't ready yet. So I came in and uh, went to bed. That wasn't, those trucks that we were at between us, they weren't there. 
They weren't there this morning. As soon as I woke up, boom, trucks. <laughs> yeah, I went to bed and got my sleep and woke up in between, make sure I don't miss the phone call because they were supposed to call me to give me a door. I still got my rest though. You know, then I woke up at the final timing. I said, you know what, I haven't heard anything. I'm getting worried. So I woke up and went check in on the load. And that's when they told me to, they told me to forget about me and stuff. And I just wanted to make sure, you know, then that's when they gave me that door and stuff. And But we are loaded and we're on our way to homebound or first deliver and then make our way home. Says I may need truck. Says I may need fuel before getting there. Uh, I may push it. Wait till after. Maybe. <laughs> Everybody's having a wonderful Monday as I am, and uh, hope y'all having a good day, and hope you had a wonderful weekend, whatever y'all did on uh, 4th of July weekend. My 4th of July was alright, it wasn't too bad, I mean, I just had to bust my tail to get that Allentown, Allentown load in on time, well, to keep it on its schedule timing because it was already late. Well, we got it there. So I just kept on busting my tail until I got close enough to get far enough, you know. Yeah, I haven't picked up in this area in a while, <laughs> but we haven't. Yeah, if you take that uh, exit 315 that we just passed, Berryville, that'll take you to Frederick. When we come out of the yard, you know, take that 15 to 34, that's where we come out of, right there. Of the scales are open. They probably are. Yep. 
they're open. <sighs> but at least we're on our way home and that's all that matters. You get this delivered and it's not on the day that I want it, but it's the way it goes out here. <laughs> Stay until I give y'all a uh, uh, way station drama, I guess. <laughs> Some of y'all like those, I guess. Yeah, if I had to cast you, I'll have to go the other way towards Clearbrook to make sure we're okay. But I don't think there's a cast here. I've done that before I picked up here, around here, uh, I think it's a beverage craft here in Winchester with night and, uh, and the same thing in between the middle half of Winchester, you know, for to go south or to scale or go the other way for uh, Catskill. Now it's going back down, so I had to go back up to get a cascade, make sure we're okay. <laughs> Don't ever go to that craft. They're, they they take forever. It's around here somewhere. Right back here is the other race we hood that we just passed. It. Don't ever go to that that craft, man. They, they take forever. Hmm. I think I picked up a load of Gatorade and stuff like that. Water and those type of loads. Those loads are fun, but they're heavy though. I like to uh, restart the uh, I like to keep up with the miles of the trips you know these Volvos do that and I like to restart it <laughs> I forgot yeah, I don't need to calculate this one <laughs> I think we've done about 1400 and some miles 1400 something from where we started in Fort Worth all the way to uh, Allentown
Yeah, John, uh, he picked up a downing load, I guess, but he dropped his at the yard. He, I don't know what's wrong with him. Orfield ain't bad. I mean, they, they load, they unload you pretty quick. 30 minute stops, plus, you know, the waiting time. The only thing that they take a little bit of timing is getting the bills. You know, that's because they're counting and receiving the product. I mean, it's part of the job, you know. As y'all see, I get along pretty good with the guy that's there, so. That's because he gets the different people. He don't attempt to uh, deliver early like me. When you deliver early, you get my buddy there. <laughs> it makes you feel good about delivering there, you know what I mean? Yeah, I didn't put my lock this time because we're not going far. <laughs> I'm just going to deliver and then I'm gonna put it on when I shut you know drop the trailer off. Um We was gonna get the big maroon uh service done in uh Hagerstown, but he changed his mind and told me to go down that way we don't uh be late to the place. To the shipper here since a new customer and stuff and I think we're gonna get it done and that speed car across the street where I dropped the trailer. Is it closed? Is it closed? Is it closed? Stupid app. The app told me it was open. Oh the other side's open. South is closed. <laughs> One of the one we're gonna hit one more, I think. I think. I think. I think. I think. Well, they're closed. At least southbound is closed. I think the northbound is open. Make sure y'all look for uh, a blue Volvo 799. He's a bad person. He. I just saw that he just got loaded out of Mount Crawford. I didn't watch the video though, but I saw when he uploaded it. He must be all the way in Ohio, Indiana, somewhere by now. He's probably on the way doing Madison. You doing my load? So that therefore then we'll see y'all later guys. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Why are we slowing down? 55 miles an hour. Are we behind the prime or something? Let's get out of here. It's been windy all day, guys. I've been fighting with this wind <laughs> since Pennsylvania. Been blowing me everywhere. Oosh, oosh. <laughs> that's why that RV that's ahead of us, that's what's slowing people down. Let's get out of here. Tell me what time it is. Shoot, 
we stay here and get in front of that tanker? I think so. Ain't nobody behind me. Strasburg, Virginia. Let's go pick up there. Pick up at Purdue. I used to pick up there quite often with Stevens. Transport. That Purdue plant that's right here in uh, Strasburg, Virginia. Deliver that, uh, I think it was the Illinois area. speed warning right wait I was gonna let y'all go and I'm still keeping y'all around y'all bad people <laughs> what am I gonna do uh, I gotta get my trucks inspections done both my red one and my blue one file my taxes for the deadline and because I waited till around this time and to do it because that's when my guy was available so slow down slow down big room we don't want to excite the bears After all, they like JBD Travels, don't they? <laughs> oh, McDonald's had a fire. We gotta go 70. I wanna go 70. Yeah, I gotta get over. That sun is right in my face. And y'all's too. Yeah, so we'll be all from Tuesday to Tuesday. So that's so that way I can do my full week. Tuesday to Tuesday. Why are we going to slow big maroon? You're not you're not that heavy. You know, Black Stallion will put you to shame right now. This 34,000 is nothing to Black Stallion. <laughs> nothing. We'll be flying off this road. Woo. We'll start picking up again. Big Maroon done hit the 50,000 K on the miles. He's got 50,564 miles. Hit it yesterday. So congratulations, Big Maroon. See ya. I don't want to be ya. Try to stay and let y'all see this little bit of scenery that y'all rarely get to see. about 297 miles away to all these in Salisbury, North Carolina. Therefore, we're good. We are good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. Very, very, very good. 
very, very, very good. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm not going to do my stuff right away. I'll probably do it on Thursday and Friday. I'm going to take a few days off. and That's the way I do it. Usually when I get off the road, I just stay home for a few days and let my body relax and my mind relax before I start, you know, going cuckoo doing stuff. <laughs> yeah. Because that's the way you got to do it, you know, you don't want to get off work and then right away start doing stuff. Yeah. I mean, it takes me a few days to uh, get my mind right back to where I want, you know, <laughs> relax, body relax, you know. Dash. Oh, shout out to Jordan Brown. I know you do uh, DoorDash. Did that today. <laughs> What's the other one? Uh, Uber Eats. And what's the other one? Uh, Grubhub, I think. My youngest cousin, I believe he does that stuff. I know he likes to do Uber and all that. And I believe that's what he does as well. It's not bad of a gig. I, I tried to do a Uber one time, but <laughs> I felt weird doing it. Coming up to Tom's Brook, Virginia. Y'all remember this area? We did a walkabout at this pilot here about a few weeks ago. It's coming up in a minute. But uh, the last time we did Lebanon, Tennessee, uh, Flying J, or Pilot, whatever it's called. Then before that, we did here. Um, yeah. Get right here. Tonsbrook, Virginia. back there at the pilot so therefore um, I'll say thank y'all for watching and uh, have a good rest of your Monday evening and we'll see y'all up in uh, maybe Roanoke area and then we make it into uh, Salisbury for our delivery and make it homebound after that all right thank y'all and we'll see y'all later have a good one. Stay safe, everybody.